back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So you guys, today I'm back to show you how to properly double your tracks on the sewing machine. And you guys, the logo y'all just saw is my new logo for my business. That is why I've been MIA, you guys, working on the business. But I promise you guys that I was going to show you guys more videos of me working on the sewing machine, giving you guys tips and tricks that I've been learning along the way. And that is exactly what I'm here to do today. This is exactly how your tracks are gonna look after y'all watch this video and get your practice on. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this and I am uh, stretching the tracks out, making sure that they are even up. And I'm gonna show you guys how you want your tracks to lay inside of the machine. You do not want them stacked on top of each other. You don't want them too far. You want them parallel. You want those tracks to be parallel to each other, nice and close. You do not want to start sewing at the end of the track. So you don't wanna start sewing at the end of the track. You wanna put that in past your presser foot. Okay, I was in my closet, so I got the best angle I could possibly get for you guys. So you're going to place the end behind the presser foot. And what we're gonna do is backstitch to make sure we get those ends nice and close. In my opinion, I feel like when you start with the ends right there where the presser foot begins, it tends to separate the tracks and you don't get that nice close beginning that you need throughout the weft. So I like to backstitch twice, no more than twice because we still have to backstitch once we get on the cap and you don't want any bulkiness. You want everything to be nice, flat, and neat. So I'm showing you guys how I like to hold my fingers. I do two different methods. I like to hold my fingers either close together like that or I hold the back part of the tracks that I've already done and I will push through with my other two fingers and both work for me. You guys can test out what method works better for you as long as you keep those tracks parallel nice and close to each other it'll be all good to go i'll leave the settings of my machine down in the description box as well as the link to my machine down below because i literally love my sewing machine best investment ever so here's another method that i'm going to show you guys i see a lot of people cross their top track over the bottom track to keep them close like i said different things work for different people you guys because that extra part of the machine which you guys will see in my next video i actually take that off when i'm actually constructing the wigs it works out way better for me so just once you guys start practicing you will figure out what works for you and what doesn't everything is trial and error Another thing I want to mention to you guys is please go at your own pace. Do not feel like you have to go hella fast on the sewing machine like y'all see other people doing because, girl, I was one of those girls. I was going fast on that machine and stuff was looking a hot mess. So when you go a little bit slower, go at your own pace, you can really assess everything that you're doing and make sure everything is nice and neat. So please make sure that you're doing that. Okay, so towards the end, you can do one of two things. Right here, you guys did not see me cut. I just rolled right over it and I like to backstitch twice. Like I mentioned, you can do that or you can cut, which I think I'm gonna go back to cutting because what I've noticed, it is hard for my um, machine to push through the end when I'm actually constructing the wig. So this is what the tracks will look like, you guys. See how neat these tracks are and I'm so proud of myself because they have gotten much better from the first time that I tried. So yes, I'm so proud of myself. And I really want you guys to just practice, take your time. And like I said, practice makes perfect. Do not feel like you gotta go fast. Girl, go at your own pace, okay? So this is what the tracks look like. And in this next clip, I'm gonna show you guys, I quadruple tracks for the first time last week. And when I tell you, sis, when I tell you I was so proud of myself, like, do y'all see how flat that is? Four tracks laid together, flat. Do y'all see that? That is one whole 16 inch bundle. This is not from my company, this is from another company. But do y'all see that? Yes, girl. So I'm gonna put up a few pictures for you guys to see what the inside of my caps are looking like now. They have gotten so much better. I'm so proud of myself. And if you guys need custom wigs made, until my website is up, you can purchase via email. You can email me at thehairlifellc at gmail.com. I will leave it in the description box below. Follow me on my business Instagram as well, The Hair Life Official. And you guys can see more of my work, the hair, all of that good stuff behind the scenes. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all on my next one. Bye.